Hey crafty friends, it's Melinda from MyPaperCrafting.com and today I want to share with you some cards I recently created with the RG Studio 360 stamps, inks, and paper. So I'm going to go ahead and describe each one. Um, but they're all from the Spring Thoughts Give Yourself um, Two Stamp Set Collections that were recently released and are um, sold out and are now back in stock. So I want to go ahead and share with you what I created. And if you're inspired, maybe you can go pick up some stamps. Okay, so for this first card, I used the Spring Thoughts uh, stamp set and the picture and the flowers and the sentiment are all from that collection, that's that stamp set. And uh, then I used some powdered sugar cardstock and then some, I think it's called tangy grape cardstock. And the cardstock at RG Studio is a little bit heavier. It's a hundred pound weight. So it's a nice, uh, heavy, durable cardstock, perfect for your bases and things of that nature. And so I went ahead and colored it with my Copex and I don't know if the camera's capturing, but I use some non-glossy matte dimensional, um, non-dimensional uh, medium on here. So it's got kind of like a, a, a shine to it because um, I wanted the picture to look you know, a little textured without so much, but I used my Copics to color it. And then these little butterflies are an SVG file that I have and uh, that I made. And so then I just added a little bit of washi tape and then this butterfly has got two layers and then just colored them with my Copics like the flowers and then added a little bit of stickles to them. So this is the card number one. And then card number two is this card and it's a square five and a half by five and a half. And I again used the Spring Thoughts stamp set for the girl. And then the Give Yourself, um, this sentiment is part of the Give Yourself uh, four by four stamp set. And so I again used some cardstock from um, RG Studio 360. This is the powdered sugar. And uh, this is the lavender, and I forget the name of this blue, but I will have links to everything in the info section of the video, as well as each card has its own blog post. So I will go ahead and um, give you links to those two so you can get the description on all of these. And uh, then I just colored her again with my Copics, uh, used a little bit of stickles for these little dots, and then these are some Robin's Nest Dew Drops. That I went around and then the frame is one that I created um, with my SVG um, you know an SVG file okay so number three is uh, this card here and again I created this frame this SVG file and this is part of the God Sees is part of the give yourself stamp set and then I coupled it with these images from again the um, spring thoughts collection and then the background is these it's a fun fill stamp set and I created this by uh, stamping this with and it was the cream colored cardstock and this is his banana um, again all RG Studio cardstock and then I went ahead and added a piece of uh, lace and then just added this little bow um, from from some twine and then the little pearl embellishment and then also some uh, Nouveau drops you can see along the that there. Okay, and then the last one is this card. And again, this is from the uh, Spring Thoughts stamp set, this image. I colored it with um, my Copic markers, and then I did a little bit of light colored pencil through here to just give it a different color, slight different color, because this is white cardstock. And then I created this SVG file for the background. And then this uh, cardstock again is from the studio and it's, I think it's uh, watermelon or melon something or other. I'm really bad with the names. So I will definitely leave it down in the info section. And again, like I said, each card has its own blog post. And then I finished this one off with just a cute little bow with um, some seam binding ribbon. And then there's some just tiny little iridescent uh, drops. Well, not really drops. They're like like tiny sequins. I got them from Tonic with this Nouveau 
set that I bought. So again, um, I will leave the info section of the links in the info section below. But these are my four cards. And what I'm doing is if you place an order with um, RG Studio 360, any any uh, size order, doesn't have to be these stamps, it can be um, some of their new inks, some of their um, re-inkers, some of their paper, but if you place any order um, with the studio through my link, I will send you the SVG files that I use to create these. I will send you this frame, I will send you this frame, I will send you this frame, and I'll send you the little butterflies. So um, if you want details on that, again, you can go to my blog post, or my blog, mypapercrafting.com, and I will share all of these, and then I will let you know, again, if you shop through my link, um, I don't really get anything from my link. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that all works, um, but just if you, you know, I'm, I'm trying to encourage you to try RG Studio 360's uh, stamps. Really great quality stamps. Um, the ink is really good. The um, paper is excellent because it's that 100 pounds, so it's, it's a little bit heavier paper than, um, so it's really nice to work with. As you can see, coloring on the, uh, with my Copics, I didn't have any problem. So again, if you um, like the video, please take a moment to hit the like button and to subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. And please do check out rgstudio360.com for their uh, stamps, inks, paper, re-inkers. And I know as they grow, they're going to have other products, but uh, they really have such a nice selection. And the one thing I really want to make sure I press impress upon you guys is that when you buy the physical stamp set you also get the digital download version of the stamp set. So you get this, the images right away. It comes to you um, via email in a digital download, and um, they are come in PDF, JPEG, SVG, and you can start creating with them in the digital version at least. Uh, for the time being, you can just print it out and cut the PDF and print it out and start going and or you can manipulate it if you're into doing that kind of thing and you can actually turn these into some amazing projects you can make them large small and then when you get your physical stamp your clear uh, photopolymer stamp obviously you can do things with your stamp set that are kind of harder to do with your digital so um, you get the best of both worlds and as far as I know this is something unique to this company they don't um you know, this is something different. Most companies or no other companies that I know of, frankly, offer you uh, both versions of the uh, image. So anyway, go check them out and I'll leave the link in this info section below. But until the next time, you have a wonderfully crafty day.